Alright, hey friends, welcome to Classics in Color, your weekly dive into some of the ancient world's wackiest facts. I'm Mark Graves, and today we're going to be talking about the popularity of beauty contests for men in ancient Greece. I don't think it's really any secret that the ancient Greeks loved the human body, especially the male body. They thought it was just the epitome of beauty and grace. They loved being nude, they loved looking at nude people, and they loved creating nude art. I also don't think it's a shock that the Greeks were very competitive people. They loved competing, loved contests. They were inventors of, of course, the Olympic Games, but also of dozens of other games that took place at different locations at different times of the year. So although it is less well known, I don't think it should be surprising that the Greeks also had a fondness for beauty contests. There isn't as much scholarship or just general discussion about these beauty contests, at least compared to the athletic ones. And I think that's probably for three major reasons. The first, maybe being the most important, is that just in our modern culture, 21st century North America, where I happen to be living, beauty contests in general, but especially beauty contests for men, are seen as something that's kind of weird and lame and we're just not really interested in. So I think we've got that bias. Second of all, we don't have tons of ancient sources talking about these beauty contests, so we don't have a lot to go on. And what we do have can be a little bit vague and confusing at times. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, I think that these athletic contests weren't conducted independently most of the time. Usually they would have been part of a larger religious ceremony or celebration or part of one of those larger athletic games. So I'm going to do the best that I can to give you some of the tidbits about these contests that I have found. And I'm very grateful for the article that I found called Male Beauty Contest in Greece by N.B. Crowther. So like I said, almost all beauty contests in ancient Greece involved at least one deity and were either part of some religious ritual or had a religious ritual that was a part of them. I'll give you a few examples. Pausanias tells us about a beauty contest that was held in the city of Tanagra in honor of the god Hermes, and specifically Hermes the ram bearer. So the winner of this beauty contest was supposed to carry a whole ram on his back all the way around the walls of the city. Similarly, the city Ellis also had a beauty contest and the first place winner of that was supposed to bear these vessels to the goddess to present to her. And the second place or the runner up was supposed to lead the ox to be sacrificed to her. And finally, as a part of the Panathenaea, uh, the winners of that were supposed to bear the um, olive branches in a parade or a procession in honor of the goddess Athena. Different beauty contests also seem to have focused on different age groups, just like the athletic contests. So most of the different games that happened in ancient Greece were split up by age. They had different leagues or brackets, I guess. So you might have a bracket for like eight to 12 year olds, and then another for 13 to 18, and then 19 to 22, and then middle-aged and so on. And so each of those different brackets would have different games that they could compete in with each other. And it seems like something similar was happening for these beauty contests. You might have one contest that focuses on young boys. Uh, you might have another one that focuses in on teenagers. And there were even one or two that seemed to have focused on old men. So for example, that contest that I mentioned happened at uh, the city of Ellis as part of the Panathenaea and they all carried those olive branches in the parade. Well, those all would have been old men that had competed in and won this beauty contest. Where I started to get a little bit confused was in trying to understand the difference between the two major kinds of beauty contests. So the article I read um, made two major distinctions between the Euandria and the Euexia. And at first I thought that the difference was that one of these had like a talent portion to them kind of, um, except that the talent was mostly just like uh, weightlifting. So it almost is like a body uh, building contest, uh, but it seems like a, like a talent or a weightlifting portion could be part of either contest. It just kind of depends. <laughs> so that isn't really it. Uh, the distinction instead seems to be, if I'm reading this correctly, that the uh, Euandrium 
is something that you participate in as part of a group. So let's say there's like a big beauty contest that multiple cities are participating in. Every city might send a team of like six boys or six men to participate and you all collectively have to score well and win together. And usually the prizes for those are things that you can share with your group. So for example, marching in a parade, or in some cases you might get awarded like a whole bull to sacrifice, which is effectively just giving like your team a big barbecue dinner. The Uexia, on the other hand, is much more individually focused. It's not you on a team, it's just you competing for you. And these also seem to have been maybe a little bit more locally focused and run because they seem to always take place at like a local gymnasium. Uh, so gymnasiums are just places where men hang out and exercise basically. So people would just show up and have like a, a beauty contest at their local gymnasium. And these would all be dedicated to the god Hermes, who is like the patron god of gymnasiums. So you show up, you participate, and if there is like a bodybuilding aspect to it, it's not about the size. Hermes is not like giant like Hercules or anything like that. It's more about meeting the other Greek beauty standards, which have to do with like symmetry and overall fitness. So let me know if you agree with this, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add onto my list of things that I would do if I had a time machine to basically go back and be a fly on the wall for some of these beauty contests. Cause that sounds like, uh, like some fun. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out this video. A special thank you as always to subscribers and to Patreon members. And I hope to see you all next week. Karate.